essentially what we are trying to do is grow the clean energy and sustainability sector faster than the economy would do it on itself. And we're doing that because there is a substantial portion of the electorate who believes that global warming is a critical crisis. If the policies you're trying to use are unsustainable, if they create a public backlash, if they create you know, lots of enemies who gun them down when they get going, you're not going to be doing very well. Uh, you have to have policies that are themselves sustainable. Generally, any capitalist, when you a, a true capitalist, when you ask him, what can the government do to help your business? Their response will invariably be, just get out of my way. Just lower my taxes. Just get off my back. And that's, that's, the, that's the real way that a business person thinks about they don't want help. They want to be left alone. They want their burdens to be reduced so they can do their thing. So what if, instead of using all these other uh, ways of promoting green energy, you just simply said, okay, let's try tax cuts. So uh, let's talk about zero corporate income tax, zero capital gains tax, zero estate tax zero bond interest income tax, zero dividend uh, tax, and maybe a few other taxes zeroed out as well. Payroll taxes, maybe for startups, uh, maybe sales taxes. So essentially, you reduce these burdens on businesses that do not yet exist. Essentially, what I'm doing with this idea is taking a sacred cow from the left and a sacred cow from the right and cross-breeding them. You know, the right loves supply-side tax cuts. The left loves you know, is, is very passionate about global warming and the environment. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm saying, you know, look, maybe these two ideas should go together. Generally, uh, people who care about supply side economics are on the right and, you know, all their allies and friends uh, in other areas are, many of them are global warming deniers, you know, and, and um, on the left, the people who care about global warming and the environment um, frequently have the, the idea that you know, supply-side economics is voodoo economics. Uh, so, so the two sides have not really come together <laughs> on this solution. There's, you know, they, they haven't, you know, there, there hasn't been the critical mass of, of uh, think tankers either on the right or on the left that, that have been able to put these two ideas together. However, I think that they do go together and they can work together. Um, and they, not only that, they can offer a, a great solution uh, at, in a time of uh, budgetary uh, turmoil because this is a policy that does not require you to tax uh, you know, the, you know the taxpayer. You don't have to raise taxes to do this. You don't have to spend money to do it. You just give tax cuts to businesses that do not yet exist. If you're on the right, you really would like people on the left to like tax cuts more than they do. This is a way to get people on the left to appreciate that tax cuts have some power to to affect change. So there's a there's a political plus for people on the right, and there's a political plus for people on the left to this policy because it gets people on the right to buy into helping the environment. You know, and maybe they're buying into it in the, for the wrong reasons or you know, for what the people on the left think is the wrong reasons because they're greedy and they want the tax cuts, but so what? You know, you're getting them to support something that does something for the environment. Mm -hmm.